sorry, am I lo sorry, am I looking at you or the camera? My name is Charlie Adlard and I draw zombies mostly. Oh, really? Do you want me to? <laughs> Alright then, Judge Dredd, uh, Savage, X Files, Mars Attacks, Superman, Batman, Tiny Bit of Spider Man, X Men Hellfire Club. Oh, Walking Dead, I think I've done a bit of that. Yeah, Walking Dead, um, Code Flesh, Rock Bottom, White Death, uh, Breath of the Wendigo. Um, getting tricky now. Um, nobody. That is an actual comic. Um, <laughs> Passenger. Vampire State Building. I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, The Crow. Ooh, that's a loaded question. Sorry, Robert. Breaking Bad. Star Wars and The Thing were big influences on, on my early life, so I've really got to put those in there. A toss-up between three. Honestly, I cannot decide between the three. The original Superman film, The Incredibles. I know it's not really comic book, but it's superheroes, because that was the film the Fantastic Four never was. And The Rocketeer. A novel. Oh, any book. Any book. Oh, Christ, from hell. Alan Moore. Drink. Coffee. That changes every year. Favourite band at the moment. Favourite band at the moment. Why is it this happens and my mind goes blank? Um, 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 um. I like a lot of current music, but the, the album that stayed on my, in my car, because I tend to down, I tend to buy, still buy the hard copy of CDs and then download them straight into the car, because I like to listen to albums as a whole, because I'm a music fan and I think albums should be listened to as a whole. The, the CD that stayed longest in my car in the last couple of years was David Bowie's last CD. Batman. Ah, um, Captain America. Star Wars. Uh, the original Star Wars. Battlestar Galactica. Uh, the new one. <sighs> it would have to be classic Star Wars, from which everything sprung. There would be no Battlestar Galactica without Star Wars. Monty, oh God, that is, that is no contest. No contest. Mr. Bean, obviously. No. <laughs> If you had have said Monty Python or the Goons or Monty Python, uh, uh, you yeah, know, or or Peter Sellers or uh, yeah, uh, it's just Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean. <laughs> well, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna resort to cliche. I'm not gonna say my mum and dad or anything like that, um, uh, which of course they would be, of course. Who do I aspire to? Who do I? Oh God, you know that's that's. Normally people would find that a really easy question to answer and why am I finding this very hard? Perhaps because I've never considered it, I don't know. Um, real life hero, uh, Terry Gilliam. There's a man that's fought against the system and won. My children. Oh. It would be nice to be remembered not just to the artist of The Walking Dead. I did have a career before The Walking Dead, and I'd like to think I have a career whenever The Walking Dead finishes. So, I'd, I mean, I'd like to be known as a guy, an artist that really tried to, to at least push the boundaries a bit and um, not just do stuff for commercial gain, do stuff for because I want to do it and I think it's good and, and not worry about whether it's going to make me a, a load of money large bearded and <laughs> quite a good writer <laughs> oh yeah sorry right. yeah yeah okay uh fast very english and and a pain <laughs> number seven 396 a lot 
height. The age that it says on the well, actually, it won't. Not the age it says on the comic because we don't have an age on the comic. But I'd say about 15 or 16. <laughs> 102. Um, Michonne. <laughs> That's confidential. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> <laughs> 